Hello, I'm Brad Zarr with 21st Century Equipment, and today we're going to calibrate the 1910 Commodity Air Card. Before we get started, verify that your air card is properly serviced and inspected. That way the air card performs at its best. Refer to your operator's manual, or watch our video tutorials on how to properly service and inspect your air card, or contact your local 21st Century Equipment dealer. Whether you have two or three tanks, single or double shoot, calibration procedures are all the same. Let's get started. Fill the air card at least a quarter of the way full with the product of your choice. To get the best resulting calibration, drill in the field at least five acres so that the product can settle. Stop the tractor and turn off the fan. Take out the scale and bag and weigh the empty bag. Adjust the scale to zero with the bag hanging on it. This will ensure that you're weighing the product only and not the bag. Remove the plate and install the bag underneath the meter. Make sure the half disconnects are in the down position. When running double shoot, Set the slide to double shoe position. Now we are ready to set up the calibration on the display. On the display, we will push the primary menu button, then air cart button. You should see the main air cart run page. Make sure your air cart is set up correctly by viewing the air cart setup soft key. If you have any questions on how to configure your air cart, Refer to your operator's manual or watch our video tutorial on how to configure your air cart. Press soft key G or setup air cart meters. On the setup tab, select which tank you would like to set up, front, rear, or middle, if the middle is available. Select the product and type from the drop down menus. Add your desired application rate, then the VR step. The variable rate step is how many increments you want for your variable rate adjustments. Select the color of your meters. Do this for all your tanks and products. Push next page. On this page, you can set your MDV or meter displacement value. On this tab, you will see three checkboxes. Previous is your value from your last calibration of that particular product. Standard is the value of what John Deere has tested with that particular product. Custom or current is where you can add in a value of your own. If you're going through the calibration procedures, you do not need to do anything with this page. Push on the Cal or Calibration tab. Select the Meter Calibration checkbox for the tank being calibrated at this time. Then press the calibration button. Read and follow the steps to perform the calibration. Set the hydraulic diverter to the auger position. Make sure your transmission is set to 50. Turn the crank 12 revolutions. Empty the bag and then reinstall it for the calibration. And then press accept. If your air cart has hydraulic motors to turn the crank, press and hold the switch located on the front of the air cart. Otherwise turn the crank until the meter stops. Note that the meter stops, but the crank does not. As you start turning the crank, Seed Star will automatically count and stop at the required number of revolutions. Once the meters have stopped, press the accept button. Make sure everyone is away from the meter and the crank when performing this task. 
Take the bag out from underneath the meter, then weigh the bag. Select the weight input box next to the tank that was just calibrated and enter the bag weight. Select enter. The meter displacement value or MDV appears next to the input box. The MDV is transferred automatically to the meter setup screen. Then select the setup tab. Then select the tank that was calibrated from the drop down menu. Repeat this procedure for the other tanks that need to be calibrated. The transmission value that they give you here is what you set on your transmission gearbox for that particular tank. These values you used in this calibration for example purposes only. Do not use any of these values for your calibrations. Adjust the transmission to the setting that the display shows for that meter. It is recommended that you calibrate your air cart when you change products after filling and first time seasonal uses. Knowing the calibration procedures, it takes any average operator three to five minutes to calibrate the whole air cart. But why do we need to calibrate so much? Surely the meter displacement value will work. You think so? Without performing the calibration, you will have a 10 to 12% variation for your targeted rate. If you have any questions, please refer to your operator's manual Browse around for other video tutorials or contact your local 21st Century Equipment dealer. I'm Brad Zarr with 21st Century Equipment where we're committed on making farming easier for you.